Welcome back, guys. So in this lesson, we're going to be start talking about the oops concept, right? Uh, and as you know, that's the main, that's the whole thing about object-oriented programming language, right? We There are four different types, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism, right? Those are the four main things in the oops concept. Um, and obviously, you know, what Java is all about or what the oops is, is basically object-oriented programming, right? OOP is object-oriented programming. Um, so that said, let's actually create a new package. Um, go to the SRC new V8. Where's the package? Package. Uh, and in here, let's create OOP. Yeah, let's just say OOP and finish. So just like, you know, for all of this, we created inside the package, we have all these classes, you know, same thing on, on this one as well, on the, this. We're just gonna create one in here as well. Let me just close this out and close out this console. Then create a class. Let's just say, uh, oh, as you can see again, by convention, it usually starts with uppercase. So OOP concept, don't put a space. And fetch. <clears throat> so let's write down a couple of definitions first or a couple of items in here. And then we can go ahead and start writing some code. I'm just going to create a multi-line comment. So that way we have some room over here. So OOP, right, stands for Object Oriented Programming. Language is not part of it, but it's just object-oriented programming. I just put language at the end. Just like Java, we also have Python, C Sharp. They're also part of, oops, right? They're also part of this object-oriented programming. So that's basically what, what that is, right? So we have that. And within this, <clears throat> right, one of the things that helps within the oops, you know, one of the concept, I guess one of the, not a concept, but one of the principle we have, which is called drive, drive principle. What this means is drive principle, what this means is don't repeat yourself, okay? So D is for, D is for don't, R is for repeat, and Y is for yourself, drive principle. Now, what this means is that in programming, right, if we have to do something multiple times or do something repeatedly, obviously in that case, we don't want to do it repeatedly. Uh, and we just want to do, we just want to write the code one time and then do it over and over again, right? That's why we have classes, right? And methods and whatnot. So, in class, what is class? Class is, let's say class. Class is, um, class is like a blueprint, okay? Class is like a blueprint for creating objects, okay? So, what is an object, right? Objects are created inside a class and we we use this, we use this to create the objects. And what is the, just to give you some example as far as the difference between what is what is like an object look like and what does a class look like. So just an example, right? If we talk about, let's say, hmm, let's say people, for instance, right? So class, class, if a class are 
people, right? Object for this would be like, let's say male, female, babies, you know, whatever. So again, you know, obviously babies could be male and female as well, but it's those are all part of people, right? Another one, another one, if we have that, if we have another class, let's say called fruits, right? Object for this, can you guys guess it? Well, you're right. It could be things like, you know, apple, oranges, uh, banana, strawberry. You know, again, these are all fruits, right? If you if you just think about it logically, these are all fruits. These are all part of that's a class is a little bit higher level than the objects, right? If we talk about uh if we talk about objects, right? Like cars, basically. If we talk about cars, object for this <clears throat> would be things like, you know, would be things like uh Mercedes, BMW, Audi, uh, Tesla, oops, Tesla, you know, whatever. You can have a lot more. So this is basically what, you know, what this would be defined as class and this is what it would be defined as object, okay? <clears throat> now, so inside this, right, obviously, like, as you said, any of this thing that we are creating, we want to we want to create it so we're not repeating ourselves, right? That's why you have this drive principle. That's why we create classes and then we have objects inside it. Um, and the class, again, class, you could also call it as like a blueprint for creating the object, okay? <clears throat> so let's... So this thing right here, this is a main method that we have, right? This is a main method that we have. If we want to, let's say we have, how do I create an object, first of all? I know we did talk about this before, I believe, uh, for one of the lessons. Um, maybe I'm forgetting. I think during classes, maybe I talked about this, I'm not sure. But anyways, we're just gonna repeat it. We're just gonna repeat the lesson a little bit just so it's refresh on everyone's mind. So on this, let's say I have uh, int a, right, equals two, okay? Okay, int a equals two. Uh, we have all these notes over here. Let me just try to, let me just put this, uh, let me put this on top of this. Yeah, package OP is fine. Yeah, I'll just bring this out here as well. I'll just bring this down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so we have this, right? We have int a. Now, if I want to, if I want to get this, right? If I want to have this right here. What I can do, I can create an object of this class, okay? And how do I create an object? The only thing we have to do is OOP, right there, it gives you that thing right there, OOP concept, right? Can just click on that. Or this, oops, OOP. Again, one of the easiest way to create objects, I would say, it's usually what is a normal practice Whatever we have, usually for the object, we can put it the same name, except, you know, usually we have the uppercase, usually. So what will happen, we just do it lowercase. OOP concept, and this is lowercase OOP concept, right? Equals, use the keyword new, right? Oops. And then OOP concept. How this thing came is I just press control space, Pressing control space, so this thing right here, I press control space and that thing showed up. Just press control space and that thing will show up so you can just copy that over there. Um, there you go. <clears throat> now just creating an object right there, right? I just created, I just created an object of this. 
Uh, now, if I want to do S out, oops, not sound bank, S out, and if I just do OP dot A, right, which is this, if I should print this thing out, it should print, it should give me two. There you go, it gave me two, right? Great. Obviously that's simple stuff, like we did this before. So I'm pretty sure you guys are not excited about that. Now, with that said, I can create as many objects as I want, right? Just like how I have over here, OOP concept over here, I can create another one, right? If I wanted to, I can say again, <clears throat> OOP, this first one, OOP concept, this, again, OOP, concept two. So it gives me, if I do control space, it gives me like some of the variable name already. So I have okay, OP concept two equals new and then OP concept. Okay. So again, see, I have this right now. Now I have access to that. And again, you know, for this one, I can print, I can print that again. If I just do S out A, See, it, if I if I just wanted to print out, the reason I'm creating this, creating this object is because if I want to get this A over here, I cannot just automatically put in. You see, it just gives me the error. So that's why I needed to create an, create an object of this first, okay? Because right now it is not giving me any of this, okay? So I cannot really do anything. It is not seeing that this is part of it. On the last lesson, we did go over some of those, the scope, right? We did go over the the class scope, uh, the job uh, method scope, because the all of everything over here is part of this. This thing is not seen by this specific method over here. It doesn't see it as that. So over here again, if I just go OOP, again, oops two dot. Now it shows because I have this. There you go. I have it again. Right. Let's run this thing. There you go. I have it twice. <clears throat> okay, you can create as many objects as you want. So this is creating of the objects, right? This is the object name. So I can create as many objects as, as I want using this new keyword. Now I can also have multiple classes. <clears throat> so general practice is that I should create a class individually. I have one class here, I have another one there. But just like I have my my package right here, I have all these are different classes of Java that I have written down. If I want to, I don't really need to put it on different ones. I can put all of them at the same, uh, I, can, I can put all of them at uh, the same location, right? It, it doesn't matter, right? So normally, normally what we do, you know, we you see this public class OOP concept. So normally what we would do, here, let me just see if I can minimize this. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> so well, how I did this, you just click on this plus and the minus this thing. If I just do that, it'll just go down. Same thing, you know, if I just do this, it'll just go down. So it just gives you more space. So again, <clears throat> I have all this thing right here. Now, generally or typically what we do is we put everything here, right? And this thing is inside this public class OOP concept. I don't, if I want to create a new class, I don't have to be inside this curly braces. I don't have to be part of this anymore. I can go outside of this, right? And how I do this, <clears throat> just like how I have public class OOP concept, I don't even need that keyword public anymore. I can just say class. And I can say, um, I can say my second, class and curly braces. See, I just created another class within a class. Not within a class, I'm sorry. This is outside of the class, but within the same folder location, you could say. <clears throat> okay, so this is public class OOP concept and I have the main method over here. So this is part of this. This is part of this. I still need this main method in order for my program to run. Now I can, if I wanted to, obviously create a main method over here as well, but I'm not going to do it for right now. What I can do over here, let's say, I just, I don't do anything over here. I'll just say, I'll just uh, do one print statement. Uh, okay. 
So sorry, hold on. Let's just say I just do uh int x equals fifteen, right? Let's just say I just have that. Nothing else. There's there's <clears throat> I'm not going to put anything um I'm not going to put anything over here. What I can do over here now, if I want to access this specific thing, right? I just want to access this. Same thing as I, as I had done before. I have to, just like how I've created an object of this, I can create an object over here as well. And how I would do that inside the main. Again, you have to be inside the main if you want to run it, right? So I can do my second class, right? There you go. And control space, it gives me uh, my second class. There you go, my second class. Oops. Control space, I'm just going to create this. This should the lower the lower ones. New, my second class, and close this. Now I can access everything that I have in this second class over here that I created. <clears throat> my second class dot x okay so now that's basically 15 and i can just here i'll actually put this in a print line in the print statement s out and this okay now if i was to run this it should give me 15 in addition to all these other ones okay see it gave me that 15. Now that 15 is coming directly from here, even though it's a separate class altogether. Again, as we move on with this, you know, we're gonna be doing this thing uh in a more structured way afterward. But again, the main point I was trying to make is that if I want to create another class, I can do that. I don't really need to go into uh, I don't really need to create another classes or anything. This is this thing right here is completely separate from this thing right here. Okay. So it is, it, uh, this thing doesn't see any of this, okay? It is irrelevant. Uh, even if I put A over here, it still would work. It doesn't matter. The, the reason I'm getting an X uh, in error, because obviously I have this. Now I can use this A as, I can use this A over there as well, because this A is different from this A, okay? They are not the same. So if I run this, See, it still gives me this. So yeah, that was it for this one, guys. Uh, if you do have any comments, any feedback or anything like that, please do let me know. Uh, but yeah, uh, with, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the new lectures that we're going to be doing, we're going to go into this much more of the OOPS concept. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Uh,